So guys, I know you're both uh, relatively new to Fortis here and everything. Kyle, can I start with you? Um, what sparked the move here, and I guess just how are you settling in with this team? Um, the move was sparked by, uh, I have a daughter, man. I have a daughter who lives in Dallas, and uh, that was the main reason. You know, nothing against AK or anything, but I heard about Coach Safe. I talked to DC, and they got us here, and we were here for about a month just trying it out, checking everything out, and we, uh, we just kind of fit in, man. We just kind of fit in with these guys. I'm a Midwest guy myself, so it was an easy transition. Yeah, man. Uh, it's kind of the same thing, kind of team, you know. We're a team. I grew up with him, wrestling at Oklahoma State, and, uh, man, it was a great fit. And I just knew you got to follow greatness, and this is where it's at. So this is where uh, we decided to come and follow suit. Yeah, and obviously uh, Kyle's a little more developed in the game as far as like his time put in and everything for you. Um, how much are you learning in kind of the footsteps of people who have followed your path that you're trying to go down? Oh yeah, this is so, I mean, he was the guy that I looked up to, you know, coming from Oklahoma State, um, fighting. I wanted to fight, so I looked up to this guy right here, and uh, he, like like you said, created the pathway to uh, go into MMA, and um, man, he's, he did a great job. I learned a lot from this guy. He's my older brother, you know, big brother to me, so I learned a ton from him pick his brain, I listen to him talk and so yeah, I got I got a good I got a good uh mentor in, in Kyle. Yeah, what's kind of the, the most useful pieces of advice you can give to someone who's trying to follow the path that you've taken from being like a high level collegiate wrestler to transition to MMA? Yeah, I mean I, I just I've been around so many greats, you know, D C and Habib and Islam and all those guys and you know they just shut up and work, bro. They come to practice, they don't miss days when they're tired, they're still pushing. Um, there's just a lot of good things that you learn from those guys, and, and and I don't, I tell him things, but more more than anything, man, he 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 knows, he's a two-time, three-time All-American for a reason. You know, he he understands the work, he understands the push. Uh, so there's not a lot you have to tell him. You know, like if if there's some techniques and things that I've learned from you know the best guys in the world, you know, I'll pass them down. But other than that, man, this guy's a this guy's gonna be a force, and you know, in, in uh, a couple more fights, and he'll see. Yeah, as far as you, are you still with Bellator right now? Still with Bellator. Yep. I just I got to sign. I just signed a fight June sixteenth in uh, Chicago. Bobby Nash. I'm fighting Bobby Nash. So. Awesome. Yeah. So that's coming up soon. Um, what do you just give us a little preview of that matchup? How you think it's going to go down? Uh, he wrestled at Michigan State. He's a Big Ten wrestler. I'm Big Twelve. You know, we have uh, there's a rival there a little bit with that. But you know, I, I respect all the wrestlers, and you know, I'm just ready to go out and, and perform and and then put a different show on than maybe what I've put on before. You know, coming from AK. You know, everybody knows that style. So I'm just kind of blending the Florida style, the Coach Safe style, learning from these guys like Jeff and trying to blend everything, man. You know, I'm still, you know, I'm about five years into this. You know, a lot of these guys have been fighting a long time. So, you know, I'm still blending these things. I'm still learning and, you know, and I'm still excited. So that's the best thing about me right now is, is I, I still get excited about coming and learning these things. So Anything on the books for you right now? Nothing on the books right now. I'm just training, getting better, taking every practice in and, just, uh, yeah, staying hungry and enjoying the process. Yeah, when do you kind of feel like you're maybe turning certain corners that you can feel like you can make, like, the, the steps you need to as far as leveling up in competition and taking the fights and things like that? As far as leveling up, I feel like every day, you know, I, I try to strive myself to be better, you know, in the practice room. Um, and as far as fights, uh, we're just going to have to see, you know. When they, when they come along, we'll make the decision then and, um, you know, We'll just have to decide on that time, and whenever it, whenever it happens, it happens. But uh, we'll see. So there's 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 big things coming. I'm excited for it. And uh, present company excluded, who do you think is the best wrestler in MMA right now? <laughs> oh, man, um, there's a lot of good wrestlers, man. There's a lot of good wrestlers. Everybody kind of has like their own thing. I mean, you just watched Aljo. You know, Aljo, he looked really good. He did really good in the wrestling. But as far as the best wrestler, you know. Man, there's so many good ones. I, it's hard for me to say. You know, the ego comes out of me a little bit to where it's hard to say that someone's, you know, better than somebody. But there's a lot of good ones, man. I'm excited, to, you know, for any wrestler that, that's competed in the Division One uh, level, you know, I'm excited for those guys. You know, we come from a sport that's never really made a lot of money. So for these guys to succeed and, you know, push themselves, we all kind of follow each other and cheer each other on. So I'm excited, man. You know, any, any Division One guy, I'm, I'm rooting for him. 
Is that something you mentioned the fight between Aljo and Henry? Obviously, we know Henry, Olympic gold medalist, and all that, but he got taken down more in that fight than you know, Aljo. He took Aljo down. Does that show like the complexities of MMA and that you can't just rely on having a high-level wrestling background? You need to truly show how to blend it all together to succeed in the sport. Yeah, but I mean, and, and people forget, man, wrestling. There's not a cage out there. We're wrestling in an open mat. There's nowhere to fall into. So, you know, it'd be one thing if them two shook hands and actually wrestled. Henry would, you know, mop the floor with him, you know, but when it comes to MMA, man, it's different. There's a cage. When you can throw people against that and learn how to use your, your size, especially with Aljo, use your size, use your grips, understand trips and things like that, it's a different ball game, you know, and that's something that you're seeing now is wrestling, it, it, it's, it's coming to a, a point where that's not enough anymore. And you can tell with a lot of these guys that are high-level wrestlers, you know, some of these dudes are just able to defend, you know, and they can use the cage and there's techniques for it now. And so it is important to learn how to blend these things. Your take on that, like, are those the kind of fights you study when you're trying to, you know, learn how to mix everything together? Yeah, for sure. And then as a wrestler, even a young guy like me growing in the sport, now you realize that, like Kyle said, everyone's got wrestling somewhere, you know. The farther up you get, the, 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 e the easier it is for people to stop your, t your wrestling because they, they've been training it for you know, not as long as us, but they know how to defend, like you said, on the cage and, and use, um, you know, wrestling D. But, yeah.